So what is the biggest cause of death mortality in our country right now? We've already talked about it. It's aging. And aging has nine major markers that are associated with it. We've already gone over those. So what I'd like to talk about is a few things you can do to actually help slow and potentially reverse this aging process. The first thing to think about is just foundational things. Now, when, when we talked about genetic mutations, we talked about inflammation, we talked about mitochondrial dysfunction, the foundations of functional medicine actually deal with all of these. This is your diet, eating clean, real food, nutrient dense. This is exercise. Exercise actually stimulates stem cell production. Um, this is stress reduction. Chronic stress actually can cause inflammation, which can affect through high cortisol levels, affect your gut, affect nutrient absorption, as well as how the nutrients communicate with your body. Um, sleep is a huge, huge one. Sleep is actually when your stem cells go to work. Sleep is when your mitochondria clean themselves out. Um, it's when lots of detoxification occurs. It's when your cells and your brain do a lot of the hard work to repair and get you ready for the next day. There's a bunch of other things you can do that can make these foundational things work even better. So that's what I'd like to talk about now. What are some of the foundational things you can do that make the foundations of the foundations work even better? The first thing is actually fasting. Fasting is, is one of the, the basic anti-aging things that everybody's talking about right now. Fasting helps reset your gut bacteria in your gut, your microbiome, which affects inflammation. That also affects how you digest your food, helping improve nutrition after you go through a fasting cycle. It helps your body detoxify better and get kind of junk um, out of your brain as well as your liver. It actually helps when you, when you stress your body through fasting, those stem cells that aren't quite working quite as well get a big boost. And then the dysfunctional mitochondria and the cells that are stuck, that senescence, actually gets replicated. So that's one of the reasons why you're hearing so much now about interval fasting, fasting mimicking diets, you know, all these kind of things. That's the reason keto was a big deal for a while. It's not as much now because we realized that's not as amazing as people thought it was. But just basic fasting is what all these things are based on. There's also certain nutrients doing testing to figure out what your body actually needs more of. There are certain organic acid tests you can do that look at your urine and they actually measure what your body needs more of. You might have a blood level of B12 or folic acid or a blood level of vitamin C that looks normal. But when you do an organic acid test, your body tells you, okay, what does your body need more of regardless of blood levels? So you can actually see someone through a blood test on your urine test and look, oh, you've got enough in your blood, but your body still doesn't get what it needs. And that's actually measuring dysregulation or insensitivity to nutrients. You can do that with certain testing. There's also things called peptides you've all heard about. Well, many people have heard about. These are actually things that help your body turn over senescent cells. Peptides are actually made by stem cells, which are your body's pr primary um, cell of replication. And the peptides can actually help stem cells work a little better, as well as the cells that are stuck, those senescent cells help them turn over quicker. There's a lot of host of peptides, whether it's um, growth hormone related peptides like CJC, epimerillin, or whether it's um, thymic peptides like TB4, TA1, or thymulin, thymosin. These are, these are actually things you can use that can actually help with these senescent cells. And even things like um, GLP-1s like um, semaglutide, which is you know really popular right now, one of the ways that peptide works is actually through this inflammatory process. It actually helps as well with stem cells, and it's actually known as an anti-aging medication. One of the ones I actually think has been really helpful um, for my daughter has actually been using hyperbaric oxygen or HBOT chambers. There's over 8,000 genes that are activated by doing hyperbaric medicine. As well, when you do hyperbaric medicine, you actually help stem cells work better. You actually magnify stem cell numbers about 800%, which is pretty profound. And those senescent cells, those stuck cells get turned over. So that's one of the reasons why hyperbaric medicine or oxygen therapy can be so powerful with people with chronic health issues. These are just a few of the ways that we use in our clinic every day that people are using to help reverse the effects of aging and to actually make aging more natural, not as quick. You know, there's one thing, chronological age, which is your numerical age, then there's, there's your physiologic age. And we all want to be be feel younger, look younger, and feel healthier than our stated age. And that's the part of some of these things is to actually get you that to that place. So I hope this was helpful. Um, we continue to put out information about inflammation, about things that can actually affect your body's aging, but realizing all this affects your health. And there's a saying, um, he who has his health has a thousand dreams, and he who does not have his health has but one dream. So if you have your health, that gives you what you need to dream and live your life fullest. And that's one of our goals here at RIFM. So y'all take care, be well, and we'll talk to you soon.